It's officially the holiday cookie season. So today we're making these unbelievably delicious and so super easy, fudgy, rich, chewy, minty. All right, today we're making mint chocolate what do you call it, that cookies? <gasps> they're so good and they're so easy. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love them. Yes, please. For a full copy of today's recipe, check us out on Facebook at Poppy's Cucina, or just wait till the end of the video, you're gonna find it right there. So let's do this, Oh yeah. Alrighty, so let's get started. So the very first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, then in a very large bowl, I've learned my lesson too many times, folks. <laughs> so make sure your bowl is big enough. Um, you're gonna add one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two large eggs, half a cup of whole milk ricotta, along with a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter. All right, so now we're gonna whisk this all together so it's all nice, smooth, and creamy. You want it a little fluffy. Remember, fluffy makes a big difference with baked items. Next up, you're gonna add one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a cup of milk, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then one teaspoon, and it's sunken, <laughs> of vanilla. So we're gonna whisk this all together so it's all nice, smooth, creamy, and fluffy. And then lastly, we're gonna add three cups of all-purpose flour, along with, totally optional, one cup of mini chocolate chips. So now we're gonna mix this all together till it forms a nice, thick, little sticky dough. You'll see what I mean in a sec. <laughs> Just like that. See, it's thick, it's sticky. I don't lie. <laughs> so now we're ready to portion this out. So I lined my baking sheet with a sheet of parchment paper. And now we're gonna do um, heaping ta uh, tablespoons, or if you have one of these little handy dandy cookie scoops, to number 40. Just wanna do a nice level scoop. Then right onto the baking sheet. All right, we're gonna portion these out about two inches apart. They do grow a little bit, not a lot, but. Now, if you try the, the dough, it is so fudgy. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue to portion these out. Just like that, and now they're ready for the oven. So into the preheated um, 350 degree oven, it's gonna go for just about 14 minutes, maybe 13, maybe 15. You'll see they'll flatten out a little bit. They'll lose, they'll, they'll, they'll smooth out as well and um, they'll lose their translucency. So you wanna pretty much 14 minutes. You don't wanna really overcook them, but also look at the bottom, make sure they're not getting too dark. <laughs> All right, but into the oven, they're gonna go. <gasps> Can't wait. Exactly 14 minutes later, they're done. Look at them. <gasps> Aren't they cute? Look at the size of them. They're big. <laughs> Perfect as a cookie. <laughs> so we're gonna allow these to cool on the tray for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna remove them, put them on a rack, and allow them to cool for about a full hour. Um, even a little bit longer if you have the time, but if you could smell these, <laughs> you don't have enough time. <laughs> so once they're cool, we're gonna do the glaze. Oh yeah! So once your cookies have had time to cool, we're ready to make the glaze. So in this medium sized bowl, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of pure peppermint extract, one tablespoon of melted unsalted butter, and for the milk, you're gonna need about two to three tablespoons. I started with two, whisk it in. If it's too thick, then just add another, um, add a little bit more milk, but just only add about a teaspoon at a time. And if it comes out too thin, just add more powdered sugar. So we're gonna whip this up, just like that, and now we're ready to glaze. So you're gonna take about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, like a little dollop, put it right on top of your cookie. Give it a little spread. Doesn't need to cover the whole cookie. And then, if you want, totally optional, you can top it with some crushed candy cane pieces. Make it nice and festive. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Look how cute that is. <laughs> and that's it, your cookie's done. All right, so now we got a lot more to glaze. <gasps> Yum, and then we're gonna give them a try, can't we? Bon appetito. Mmm. Mmm. They're so amazing. It's such a rich, fudgy cookie that is so light. And then you get that peppermint glaze. <gasps> if you're a fan of mints and chocolate, you have to make these. Make these right now. 
Don't make them for your friends. Make them for yourself. <laughs> They're so good. So if you try this recipe, then uh, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks. Oh, holy cow. This is so good. <laughs> but now what about that drink? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. So for today's holidays martini, yeah, we're gonna start with one ounce of coffee liqueur. And we're gonna do one ounce of vanilla vodka. One and a half ounces of Irish cream liqueur. We're gonna do an ounce of chocolate syrup. And then just a splash of peppermint extract. Couple drops. Now we're gonna give it a good shaky, shaky. And we pour, let's see, let's see. Ooh, look at that. It's like chocolate milk. Love it. Time to give it a try. Oh yeah. Salute. It's like a minty chocolate milk. <laughs> Actually, milkshake because it's so thick and creamy. <gasps> this is amazing! <laughs> you have to try this. And if you do, let us know. And if you try that incredible, incredible, the uh, mint chocolate ricotta cookies, let us know that too. See you again soon. Love you guys. Cheers.